you can only communicate with buyers inside of Amazon. Like you can't, you can't from like your Gmail or from your brand email, email people that bought your product on Amazon. So what Helium 10 does is it goes and connects into your Amazon account and then its systems make it so that through like your Amazon account, they email the buyer. So it's not going to show up as from Helium 10. It's going to show up from whatever your seller uh, brand account name is. But 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 like when people see it, they're not even going to see. It's going to like the email that they're going to see it from is going to be like a, an, a string of Amazon encrypted email. So like they're not. Just because Amazon's super strict about that. They don't want you to have customers' emails and they don't want customers to have like your business email. They want it all to exist inside of Amazon so that you can't like sure. siphon cuff customers away from them. Um, so yeah, it'll 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 show up for them as an Amazon email, but but from you as the seller. So if you go to the left column and click on automation, and if you click new automation. This is where you'll choose, where you'll start to choose like when they get an email, how many emails they get, and when they receive them. And there's different ways you can do that. So like right when someone buys the product, you can send, you can have an email automated that goes out to them that says thanks for purchasing. When the product arrives, when it's delivered to their doorstep, then you can have another email saying like, hey, just wanted to let you know your product has arrived. And then a couple days after that or whatever, you could send out another email that says, like, how are you liking your product? We'd like to ask you to please leave a, an honest review on it. But this is where you'll, you'll set that stuff up. Some people send out like a few emails. I personally just choose to send, I just send one email when it, or do I send, I'm, I think I might have it set it up to, have it set up to two. Let me jump into mine and I'll take, I'll actually take a look here. I don't remember exactly how I had it set up. So I use the two-step delivered template. So one-step, two-step delivered. That one, yeah. Review. Yep. And I'm not saying mine's the best. And I, I should honestly do more testing with my email campaigns to to see. But I, I just like to keep it really simple. Um, but some people will, will say the opposite, where like hit them with several emails. But what I do is basically... No, I don't like that because I think you piss people off with that. That's kind of how I feel about it. But So in the order delivered section, all I have is wait one day and then send email. And that email is uh, the LM review template, which I kind of reworked a little bit. Um, but that's all I do. I just say, so like th the product arrives at their house, wait one day, then they get an email. And in that email, I basically just say, Hey, like I saw that your product arrived, you know, like if the, if you have any, if you've had any problems with it, please respond back to me. And then I ask them to leave a review on the product. And that's, that's, that's all, that's all I do. And then in the filters section, I just leave it refunded orders and, and marketplace as it has right there. Really helpful for getting, getting more reviews.